Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 31 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today what we're going to do is we're going to trace a cartoon character uh, that's actually a drawing inside of Photoshop by using pen tool. So for this I actually have a layer uh, of a 2D character all right here someone drew this so I'm going to trace this out to make it look this still. So I'm going to create a new layer right here and for that I'm on my pen tool right here and I'm gonna select sheep okay because I want uh, to draw out a vector graphics right here. So I'm, I want to set the fill to none and then I want to set the stroke to black for about now and I'm going to increase the size let's say to one point so that I can at least see the line. So I'm going to trace the character just like this. I'm going to start by tracing out the hair lines over here. So let me just click and drag uh, my pen tool and you can see that now I have my pen tool right here. Let me just click it. All right, let me just uh, alt click in this part because I do not want like, it like that. And let me just click like this. Okay. And click and drag. Alt click. Click and drag. Alt click. Click and drag over here. Alt click. Click and drag. Click and drag just like this. Click and drag. All right. So the hairline is going to be covered by the face. So I'm just going to skip this one. So click and drag over here. We can drag over here, click, we can drag over here, click, we can drag, all right, just like this, click, we can drag, all right, and then click, we can drag, click, we can drag, click, all right, click in this point, we can drag, and then I'm going to close the shape. So let's say I want to change the color of the hair now, so I'm, I can select the color, let me just uh, create a new color right here and add it to the color swatch. Maybe, let me just select yellow and press OK. And then uh, I'm going to uh, create a new color swatch over here. All right. And then select yellow just like that. So I have my yellow hair covered up just like that. So I'm just going to disable this layer, create a new layer for other shapes. So for now, I'm going to trace the face right here. So let me just select the pen tool just like this and click and drag just like that. So click and drag just the face area all right so actually this is going to be covered up uh, by my hat so i'm not going to worry too much about this area so let me just select this part so this ear seems to be a part of the face so let me just draw that out just like this all right click and drag just like this and then click and drag all right press alt click click and drag alt click and close the shape so i'm going to select a uh, uh, color for this uh, face right here. Let me just select maybe something like a brown over here. So something like this color right there. Okay, so let me just press OK and right click. Press OK to create a new shot and then add that color in. So let me just hide this in as well. So let me just create another shape. And over here, I'm going to trace out the nose and all of the other uh, things right there. So let me just click and drag just like this. All right, so the nose is traced just like that. That's fine. Press enter. Trace out the lips just like this. Press enter and trace out the chin area as well. All right, so that is being traced. So I'm going to trace out the eyebrows as well, just like this. All right, and click and drag over here just like this. All right, so the eye eyebrows are traced as well. So all of them are being created in a new layer and you can see that the, it is being traced just like that. All right, so let me just um, disable all of those, create a new layer. And over here, I want to trace in the ears, just like this. All right, so click and drag, click and drag the ears over here. All right, there you go. So that's going to be the ear. I want to color that out as well. So just fill it up with the same skin color. You can see that that's quite easy. Let me just create a new layer and then add in the details to the ear, just like this. This is going to be behind the face, so it doesn't matter. All right. And there you go, let me add in the details to the hairline over here, just like this. So that's the detail to the hairline over here. And uh, let me just enable all the layers to see how it looks uh, right about now. All right, so I actually need the ears to be, uh, the, um, to be at the back. So I'm just going to select this layer right here and this layer, both of these layers, and select it and keep it at the back of the face, just like that. And then the ears go at the back of the face. Okay. So I'm going to create the hat because I need a bit of detail and I want to uh, do that at the end. 
okay, to save some ha hassle. Let me just actually create a new folder and then rename this to face or trace, whatever, and then keep all of the shapes inside it. So let me just drag the um, folder to the top. Let me just select all of the layers just like this and drag it to this folder right here so I can enable and disable at the same time. So let me just create a new layer over here and then let me just select the uh, pen tool and then create the top part of the hat just like this. So drag the top part of the hat just like this. All right, drag it and over here, that's done. All right, so let me just make the curve as well. Okay, there you go. So then go to the uh, part. Let me just select it, select blue color for this. And let me just go to the pen tool over here to fill the color. Right click, press OK, and there you go. That's the swatch color right there. All right, so that's pretty much done. Now I'm, I want to make this part as well. So create a new layer again. And then I'm going to select the pen tool. Just drag this out just like this. OK, just like this. Click and drag it up just like this. All right, there you go. Drag it up just like this over here drag it out over here and then over here all right so i'm gonna fill that out as well so just select the shape right here let me just select the shape over here and then let me just select this out let me just select the pen tool right there fill it up with the color that i like maybe red that's fine this watch is already there so i don't need to create it all right so there you go and there you go that's actually uh traced so you can see that there's some imperfection over here so i want to correct that out by convert point two so let me just expand this because this is this shape right here so i want to make some corrections onto this so let's just press control and then drag it out so that it covers the face area just like that all right so finally we got the eyes remaining so i want to keep these shapes over here as well okay and then come um, just uh, put that inside the folder and in the new layer i want to trace out the eyes just like that all right so let me just trace out the eyes over here for that let me go to the pen tool click drag 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 over here all right and click and drag all right there you go so that's the eye part i want to color it later on and this here is actually quite circular, so I just, I'm just going to use the elliptical tool because I want to have a perfect circle over there. All right, there you go. Uh, and then I need to add in a stroke to this, actually. So I need to right-click on this and stroke path. All right. Okay, I want to do that with the shape layer itself. All right. So just delete the, out this layer. Okay. I need to create another layer. All right, there you go. So let me just press Control Z, Control Z. Sorry for that. Okay, and then uh, just go to selection, just like this. Click and drag. It's gonna disappear. All right. So I'm I want to re uh, adjust this out. So I'm just gonna move this out, just like this. All right. Okay. I can also use my arrow keys, and then I'm gonna use um, more of the circular tool to bring out the circle inside all right so i actually need to enable the shape over here and then the stroke all right so let me just click and drag over here let me just create a new layer for that so that i can actually see the stroke just like this all right so that's inside let me just click and drag over here let me just uh control z click and drag over here all right there you go create another layer and then click and drag a small shine, just like that. All right, there you go. So that's how you create an eye. So let me just create another layer and then click and drag over here. Just click and drag, click and drag. There you go. Uh, click, click and drag. Let me just press Alt over here because that is actually disturbing me right there. Click and drag, click and, click and drag over here and then close it out just like this all right there you go so i got my second eye create a new layer go to the elliptical tool i'm holding shift so that i can create a perfect circle right here so click and drag just like this and actually what i want to do is i want to keep the eyes similar so just i'm going to select these layers right here 
So I, I want to determine which of the layers are these ones. All right. So I'm going to select three of these layers. Control C and V. Wait. Right? Duplicate layers. Press OK. Drag this out. I actually don't want this layer. I seem to have brought in another layer right here, which I don't want. Let's press Control Z. All right. So over here, I just want to um, uh, bring in the layers that are inside. All right. This one. Okay. This one. And this one. There you go. So three layers. Duplicate the layers. So just duplicate the layers. Press OK. Drag them out to the side. All right. There you go. So that's how you create an eye. All right. So all of the shapes are now over. So what I can do is I can bring in all of these shapes inside the folder now. And that actually does not do anything nice. So let me just drag it to the top layer so that it does not get gets hidden. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to color the eyes over here. So let me just expand this and I'm going to color the eyes. And this is the eye that I want to color in. So let me just select uh, the shape over here and then I'm going to fill it out with white. So for that, let me just swap the color right here and let me just uh, go to the fill, right click, press OK and select white. All right, there you go. So then what I want to do is I want to move this below so that I can see the other layers just like this. And then over here, I want to find out this layer. Yeah, so I'm going to fill this out with white as well. And for the inside, for the circular, uh, for circular shape, maybe I want to fill it up with black. So this one, I'm going to fill it up with black. So fill it up with black. Okay. And then right click. That's swatch 8 black. All right. So I'm going to drag this down as well. Just like this. All right. So I just want to make sure that I fill this out with other color. Maybe I want to fill this out with something like uh, like blue. So uh, that I can fill this one out with black. So I'm going to select this layer right here. And then, okay, let me just select this one. All right, this one. Okay, let me just select this. All right, let me just go to the shape layer right here. Select it with blue over there as well. So let me just um, disable this one. Let's just select this, fill it up with the black. All right, there you go. So over here, maybe uh, this one, this one. Okay, let's select this, fill it up with black. All right, so let me just select the top one and fill it this one up with white for the shine. And then finally, uh, this one with white. There you go. So I traced a simple cartoon character. So if you have a drawing and if you want to trace it, then you can do it via pen tool inside of Photoshop, as you can see over here. Let me just add in the details because I don't have the details right there. All right, so let me just select, enable this just like this and decrease the opacity so that I can see through. So let me just create a new layer over here. And then over here, let me just create this right there. All right, and create another one, Control Z, press Enter. Click and drag, press enter, click and drag, press enter. And then for the details, I can add in any details that I want, any level of details, click and drag, enter. All right, so that's how you add in details. So let me just drag it inside of the folder itself and then increase the opacity just like this. So it seems like I actually uh, kept the layers over here okay so these are the layers that I'm looking for and I actually kept them in in the back so I don't want them in the back I want them above the uh, above the hair its hairline itself all right so that's how the hairline this actually this one does not look that good so let me just delete that out all right so these shapes are being selected let me just select this one uh, select uh, let me just go to the bottom one sometimes I need to okay this is the layer right here let me just delete that out so if you were to name the layers then it's uh, gonna be less of a hassle if you have a lot of layers you may want to layer it so this is how you can trace a character but what I, what I want to do is since we trace it out in vector I'm gonna disable this now so you have the traced character right here so let me just uh, select the crop tool and increase the size of the canvas just like this let me just select white because I want a white canvas. So select white on the background, increase the crop size, press enter, 
and then for the trace I'm just gonna press Control T and I'm gonna increase the size and you can see that the trace turns out quite good so since you traced it in vector graphics uh, the details actually stay in just like that so this is how you can trace a cartoon character inside of um, Photoshop by using pen tool so you can create com complex cartoons as well uh, by using the same tool so I hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe